Okay, so in this video, uh, we've so on the other videos we've created an instance, we've uh, assigned an SSH key to it so that we can get in. Uh, this one I'm going to show you how to set your security group so that you can open up the instance and actually use it as a server. Uh, our instances in our cloud are setting behind a firewall anyway, so we're just going to create a security group uh, that uh, opens up all the ports. So whatever server you put on there, you can access it. Uh, it, it, the default group just allows 22 uh, for SSH, but we need a little more than that if we want a web server or whatever kind of server. Uh, so let's go to landscape. I just like that you go into landscape uh, as a jump off point, make sure there's no alerts or anything like that. Uh, It'll surprise you sometimes, but then we can jump into the OpenStack dashboard from here. Plus, if you didn't put, remember your password over, it's right here for your for OpenStack. Okay, and let's just well, for starters, let's go take a look at access and security under projects, access, and security. So we have the default group. Let's take a look at what default. So default allows egress uh, to everything but only port 22 can come in TCP um, and that that's just what they start out with so let's we want to create another one so let's go back to access and security let's create a security group and we're gonna call this all and we'll call it all ports access so let's create it and now we're gonna manage rules Okay, so you can see the two default, uh, anything can get out of these slices, uh, but nothing can come in by default. So let's add a rule and go up to rules and let's do all ICMP traffic uh, and we'll allow all of it uh, to come in and CIDR and we'll just every IP address. Again, this cloud is behind a firewall, so I'm not real worried about um, security. You might not want to do this if you're out on the public, but here it's fine. So we're going to allow all access. And let's create another rule. And we'll do all TCP. Uh, we'll allow traffic to come in from all TCP, every IP address. Let's add that. And let's add one for UDP, all UDP. Add that. Okay, now, so this will this is showing you it will allow any port to come in TCP, UDP, and any traffic to come in uh, ICMP. So, since we have any protocol egress, all we really need need to do is add um, access coming in. So that's good. Our rule is set, and let's create an instance. So I've already got instances created here but let's you don't have to create a new instance to add a security group so let's just go ahead and use the one I already have here we'll add the security group and there's your new security group add it you can remove the default because now we have access to everything so just add it remove the default hit save and let's do Joe's while we're here hit save. Now, uh, your floating IP that you assign in the, the last video when you created this instance, uh, you should be able to access it uh, from anywhere, uh, any port. So let's go ahead and pull up SSH. Let's see, 1.5 oh. and our SSH key is set up so uh, I'm going to change the settings on this so you can see it a little better. SSH key set up so it goes right in. Okay. Uh, and I have installed Apache on this. All you have to do, we'll do the command again. Uh, to 
too. I'm just going to say it's already installed, already the new version. The only reason why I put Apache on this is so that we can test and, and confirm that the ports are open. So let's open up a browser. Uh, this this is the 1.5 address, so open up a browser. And let's go to 10.1.1.5. And port 80 is now open, as, long as, uh, as well as all the other ports. So that's a quick, easy way to get an instance that's already, already spun up, already running. Just add that security group in there, opens up all the ports and you should be ready to go. Uh, I'm going to spin up a few different servers uh, and test on a, a few other ports, but that should get you going on security groups. Uh, that's all for now. Thanks.